I thought I'd start this morning by telling you about a horrendous medical mistake that occurred to me as a first-year resident. My patient almost died during eye surgery. Imagine that, nearly dying from eye surgery. Here's what happened. It was 1982, and my mouth was full of cotton. Mm. 1982, I was a first-year ophthalmology resident, and I had a severely diabetic patient with a blind, painful eye. The decision was made to perform an enucleation, and I was the first-year resident, and I would do the surgery with staff supervision. That's right, eye surgery performed by a first-year resident. Come on, the eye is already blind. <laughs> All the lab work was drawn up, it was normal, the patient was admitted for the operation. The procedure itself went pretty smoothly until the bleeding started, and it kept going. Horrendous bleeding. It filled the orbit and it just kept going. The staff kept looking for better cautery. I kept looking for fresh underpants. <laughs> it took nearly four hours in a platelet transfusion to get the bleeding to stop. What happened? Remember all that pre-op lab work, the platelets, the bleeding time? It, it was all normal. Well, you remember I also told you the patient was severely diabetic? She was so diabetic that she suffered from chronic kidney failure. Her kidneys had shut down. So she required hemodialysis every several days just to stay alive. It just so happened that her pre-op lab work was drawn right after her last dialysis session. So her blood was pure and clean, and those numbers were great. But a surgery approached, anesthesia decided to put off the next dialysis until after the operation so that it would cleanse the blood of all the gases and chemicals used during the surgery. But nobody told me. My patient was wheeled into the operating room, severely uremic. Uremic from her diabetes, and uremic from the postponed dialysis. Say, did you know, uremia poisons platelets? Yeah, it keeps them from sticking together to form blood clots. Uremia poisons platelets. Did you know that? I didn't either. <laughs> All of my assumptions on this patient's health were based on four-day-old lab data. After this near disaster, I got hold of a nephrologist, a kidney specialist, to tell him about my problem. And all he did was laugh at me. When I got hold of my colleagues in ophthalmology, they were shocked. Oh my gosh, I didn't know. Thank you for warning me. After that near disaster, I became an evangelist. I started telling everybody I knew about the potential for hazards of doing eye surgery on patients receiving hemodialysis. Now, even though I've called myself an evangelist, unless you permit me to take up two collections during this morning's celebration, this will not count as a Sunday church service. Well, I took my scary little story and wrote up the paper, and guess what? You can stop the organ now. It got published in a leading medical journal. Then I prepared a poster abstract for the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Guess what? Free trip to Chicago. What I'm trying to tell you, it's possible to convert serious blunders into something more rewarding. Mistakes offer you powerful lessons that will make you smarter, wiser, and over the long haul, more successful. Powerful lessons you can't get anywhere else. During my residency, my chief was Dr. Don Griffith. Don Griffith taught me, Bill, you will never learn from your successes. You can only learn from your mistakes. By analyzing the different factors that led to that horrendous bleeding, I became a more experienced clinician, a more knowledgeable doctor. 